I'm not a big fan of oral antibiotics, uh, to be truthful. Uh, I think they work better as an anti-inflammatory agent than strictly as an antibiotic. On the other hand, the use of topical antibiotics I do use because, uh, especially in combination with other agents, since we're protecting the antibacterial uh, effects and preventing resistance. I'm in favor of topical antibiotics in combination with other agents, specifically benzoyl peroxide and retinoic acid, because it's been shown that there is a synergistic effect of the antibiotic when used together with, with these secondary uh, agents. And secondly, we do not develop resistance in combination use. I prefer products that are well tolerated by the patient, uh, firstly, and secondly, uh, that have a relatively more rapid uh, onset of effect. I think people have unrealistic expectations, wishing the products to work within minutes, if not the day before. And so if we can get them to have uh, activity that's relatively rapid and to set expectations for them, then uh, we'll get better results. Not necessarily. I think that if we uh, t uh, coach the patients well to uh, apply the products correctly, uh, then we'll get results that are relatively, relatively fast. And secondly, we will not get uh, an exacerbation before they get better. I think that patients don't want to get worse before they get better. They, they'd rather have uh, a perfect face and, and as soon as possible. I don't think that I have different treatment modalities for people of different skin colors or phototypes than uh, other patients. On the other hand, the priorities of these patients are somewhat different in the sense that they are more concerned about post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and the development of scars. And so it's something that I'd like to address right on the first visit so that they understand that this is part of the treatment plan as well. But I do not necessarily modify my treatment. In patients with uh, higher phototypes, darker patients, I tend to use very similar treatments as I would use in every other patient. I tend to emphasize the importance of patients as far as hyperpigmentation and uh, the risk of scarring. So I will still use benzoyl peroxide with antibiotics or retinoic acid with antibiotics uh, quite freely as long as they understand that it will take a few months till the pigmented marks fade and the skin returns to normal. The first trick that I use is I talk to the patient, not to the parents. Uh, they want to understand the issues and they're going to be the ones doing the treatment. Secondly, we need to set uh, treatment goals that are realistic so that they understand the progress that it takes and the consistency that it takes for their acne to get better. And thirdly, it has to be done in a way that is con compatible with their lifestyle so that we are doing the treatments at times that they would otherwise be uh, available to do the treatments. <laughs>